global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happiness to the YouTube channel. Finally, Wiki's reign may be over or quicker than we think in PDP. But the question is, how do they intend to break the stronghold of Wiki in PDP? We're going to find out in a moment as there seem to be an emergency PDP BOT meeting over uh, the, the party's crisis. But let's find out what it is. Before we do that, kindly subscribe to our channel. Report has it that the PDP BOT chairman, Senator Adolphus Wabara, announced during an emergency meeting held in Abuja as at today that the meeting with the former governor of River State will be in January 2025. Why? Also, the Wabara led BOT disapproved of the National Working Committee, NWC, led by Omar Damagom for its repeated delays in convening the National Executive Committee neck meeting. It is what of note that since taking on the role of acting national chairman after the court's removal of Senator Ayocha Ayu, Demagom had encountered mounting criticism from party leaders with increasing demands for his resignation amid the continuing turmoil within the party, which is PDP. At the 98th NEC meeting on April 18, party leaders sanctioned the establishment of a reconciliation and disciplinary committee, the organization of world and state congresses, and assigned the North Central Caucus the task of consulting on the replacement of the acting national chairman with a permanent successor. The 98th NEC also scheduled the 99th NEC meeting for August 15, which was initially postponed to October 24, 2024, then rescheduled again to November 28, 2024, and is now indefinitely delayed. Consequently, the PDP Governors Forum, under the leadership of Bauchi State Governor Bala Mohammed, had, has instructed the NWC to ensure the net convenes by February at the latest. In light of these developments, Wabara voiced his concern that such delays undermine the trust and confidence of PDP members. He stated, Today, we convene under challenging self-inflicted circumstances, compelled by our collective concern for the current state of our great party, as custodians of the People's Democratic Party's conscience and legacy, it is our responsibility to uphold the integrity of this institution and ensure that it continues to serve as a beacon of hope for our democracy and good governance for our dear nation. It is with deep sense of disappointment that I must express the board's dismay at the continued shifting by, by the National Working Committee, NWC, in convening a National Executive Committee neck meeting. Now, this delay not only undermines the trust and confidence of our members, we recognize that challenges may arise during governance and, and administration, but adherence to timeliness and commitment is non-negotiable. In as much as Board of uh, Trustees serves as the conscience of the party, we expect that the NWC would honor its word and convene the next meeting as scheduled. This critical. This is critical for res resolving pressing issues and charting a clear path forward for the party. Wabara highlighted that the power of PDP is rooted in its unity and dedication to democratic values, pointing out that the NEC serves as a crucial forum for decision-making, consultation, and cooperation among all tiers of the party's leadership. The former president of the Senate added, prolonged delays may worsen current issues and create unwarranted divisions within our ranks as the BOT. We, that's board of trustees we will per persist in our commitment to uphold accountability and compliance with the party's constitution we urge the nwc to rise to the occasion demonstrating leadership and responsibility by making sure that the time frame is fixed next year february to convene next meeting is adhered to 
On the national front, the harsh economic policies of Tinubu administration have exacerbated the sufferings of Nigerians. The skyrocketing cost of living, coupled with poorly implemented economic reforms, has pushed millions into deeper poverty. The promises of economic relief have proven hollow, leaving families struggling to make ends meet. Our party must rise to this occasion by offering credible alternatives and amplifying the voices of the suffering masses. Let us reaffirm our commitment to the values of fairness, equity and prosperity for all Nigerians. Wabara further declared that the party stakeholders will not allow individual interests and differences to overshadow the, the a party's shared vision for a better Nigeria. He pointed out that internally the PDP must organize itself, stressing that the party's strength comes from its collective determination, not individual ambitions. He stated, we cannot afford to let personal ambitions or differences overshadow our shared vision for a better Nigeria. Our governors are the bedrock of the P PDP's successes across state, and their synergy is vital for our collective progress. Let us prioritize dialogue, collaboration, and a sense of shared responsibility as we navigate these trying times. The BOT will be relentless in seeking peace and unity in our party as the conscience of PDP to this end. The BOT, that's Board of Trustee, will begin again to search for peace in the new year, starting with former Governor Yesom Wiki, the FCT Minister now, who the BOT had promised to visit again to seek lasting peace. Wow! Now they still believe that there's somewhere along the horizon that still seems to be... They believe that something can still be done. And they are really hoping and praying that um, the the Governor's Forum will still hold the, the backbone. Don't forget that when it comes to uh, presence of PDP, it's actually being felt majorly by the Governors, then the Senators, holding senatorial seats like maybe House of Rev and the Senate. Other than that, BOT, they're just like the leaders bringing the parties uh, in the platform into one. But the question now is, for how long can they... Uh, I thought personally that uh, what are they trying to... Of course, for a while now, the, the, the FCT minister have been dodging them. Each time they want to strike a meeting with him, it will be very busy. You see, that is very busy. Or it's a national summit, as if with due respect to him and his... his, his um, portfolio as if it's even more busier than even the governors but it just shows that he doesn't want to have any meeting with them uh, what he wants is that Inyendeba, Inyendeba. but but personally i just feel that they know he's dribbling them and they seem to be helpless about it but let's see what comes out of it february it's, it looks long but then again it's very short let's hope that again that they will not shift it because nigerians are watching nigerians are waiting that's we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in that conversation.